Hello, it's Booth here, and we're going to figure out how to not let our robot run into walls or get trapped. Like a Roomba, we want to make sure our robot never stops moving because of an obstacle. I'm going to start by programming our robot car to not hit a wall. Then, I'm going to program it to drive away from any wall or corner it encounters. Let's get started. My robot car has a few nice features on it to make this task easier. It has a sonar rangefinder to detect the distance to an object, and the rangefinder looks like a set of eyes. That rangefinder is mounted on a servo. The servo lets us point the rangefinder left and right. I'm going to code this from scratch by creating a new sketch. I'll use pin mode to configure the motor pins as outputs so we can control the motors. I'll also write the rangefinding code. The rangefinding code does two things. It triggers a sonar pulse and then listens to the response. The length of the response tells us how long the echo took to come back. Using a handy formula, we can figure out the distance. The formula tells me that I can divide by 58 to get the distance in centimeters, so I do that here. I've written code to stop the robot if the distance is less than 15 centimeters, and to drive forward if it's more than 15 centimeters. At this point, I tested the code on my robot and I found that it didn't work. The robot just didn't drive at all, no matter the distance. At first I panicked, thinking that I broke something. But then I started thinking about what the problem could be, and I came up with three ideas. Bad motor code, maybe my sensor was broken, or bad sonar code. Uh, which do you think it is? I felt pretty confident about my motor code, so I moved on to testing if my sonar was broken. I found some sonar code I knew worked, and I uploaded it. And it turns out that the sonar worked fine. I added some debugging code to transmit the sonar pulse time back to my computer, and I got nothing but zeros. Clearly, the sonar code is bad. So I compared my code to code that worked before, and I found that I was missing the pin mode setup commands. It turns out that even a professional software developer makes mistakes. Now let's try it. It works. Now, I want the robot to do something when it stops at an obstacle. I want the robot to find the direction that is clear and go that way. If left is clear, turn left and go. If right is clear, turn right and go. If you're stuck, turn around. The sonar is attached to a servo on my robot. This lets me turn the sonar without turning the robot. This will let me figure out if the left or right direction is better before I turn the robot at all. I still need to write the code to make the servo work. The servo documentation says I need this funny command that says include servo.h, and I need a command that says servo servo, and a command that says servo.attach. These commands all have specific purposes, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. All I need to know is that they control my servo. The great thing about servos is that you can tell them exactly what direction they should point at. I'll finish my setup by telling the servo to point at 90 degrees, which points the servo straight ahead on my robot. Next, I want to update my code to do more than just stop at a wall. I want it to turn the sonar to the right, measure the distance, then turn the sonar to the left, and measure that distance. This will give me the distance info I need for the next step. Now that we have the distances, we can compare them to figure out which way to go. I don't want to turn right if the left side is more open, and I don't want to turn left if the right side is more open. Also, if there's an obstacle less than 15 centimeters away from the robot on both sides, then the robot should just turn around. That means it's trapped. That's what these different statements do. After testing the code and adding a few modifications, here's the result. I had to add some delays into the code since stopping the robot and moving the servo are not instantaneous actions. The delay statements allow these actions to finish before moving on to the next step. So, what problems did we solve? We coded a robot to stop at an obstacle using sonar. Then we used the servo and some logic to figure out how to drive away from an obstacle and not get trapped. Now our robot acts just like a little Roomba. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. The code and other links are in the description below. Have a great day.